For the past couple of years, we have reviewed several vehicles from the Cadillac family. To watch any of those reviews, you can go to our website, drivingtelevision.com. So here's just a quick look at the latest member of their family, the 2011 Cadillac CTS Coupe. There are some similarities to the sedan up front, but the rest of the car has been chopped and mashed into one of the most dramatic cars on the road. The coupe is shorter, wider, and the roof is lower. The front windshield has a steeper rake and there are no door handles, just slots to access the door opening button. Then there's the back, part concept car, part spaceship. The CTS might look better going than coming. The sculpted rear quarter panels, sharp rear lights and center exhaust ports do look good. The problem with such a fashion forward car is sometimes they age rather quickly. We'll just have to wait and see. The inside looks identical to the sedan up front even though the seats have been lowered. This is one area of concern. The seat bottoms are short and don't provide much support, if any at all. The rear seats are surprisingly roomy in the legroom department, but short on headroom, so good for kids. The same 3.6 liter V6 engine with 304 horsepower that we came to love in the sedan is here. It does a very good job getting this car off the line and cruising with ease. That is, if the roads are dry. On wet days, the rear wheels spin and hop off the line. This is a good argument for buying the all-wheel drive version. Yes, the 556 horsepower V is offered, but that's another story altogether. This base model starts at just over 43,000. The lower, wider stance does provide great handling. Each corner of the car conveys information back to the driver, and it feels very responsive. So there you have it, that was the CTS Coupe. Now maybe if we're lucky, we can get our hands on the CTS V. Cadillac? See the reviews of the entire CTS lineup by visiting our website. It's at drivingtelevision.com.